Today, we celebrate St. Magdalene of Kenosha. Wealth and privilege did nothing to prevent today's saint from following her calling to serve Christ in the poor. Nor did the protests of her relatives concern that such work was beneath her. Born in northern Italy in 1774, Magdalene knew her mind and spoke it. At age 15, she announced she wished to become a nun. After trying out her vocation with the cloistered Carmelites, she realized her desire was to serve the needy without restriction. For years, she worked among the poor and sick in hospitals and in their homes and among delinquent and abandoned girls. In her mid-twenties, Magdalene began offering lodging to poor girls in her own home. In time, she opened a school which offered practical training and religious instruction. As other women joined her in the work, the new congregation of the Daughters of Charity emerged. Members of the new religious congregation focused on the educational and spiritual needs of women. Magdalene also founded a smaller congregation for priests and brothers. She died in 1835. Pope John Paul II canonized her in 1988.